Hello guys and welcome back, it's Crafty Fox, and today we're going to be building the Union Pacific 8080. Now this is a coal turbine locomotive, and it is quite similar in appearance at first to the UP GTEL, uh, but this is a coal version of it, and the GTL was gas and electric, and it actually is quite different when I first like start to realize <laughs> uh, the sides and all of it. It's completely different. It's actually made of like three different locomotive parts. Uh, the first car is actually an Alco PA1 cab, and it's followed by the chassis of a Great Northern W1, which is quite long. I believe it's like around 40 blocks long, which is pretty insane. Uh, so there's like four different sets of bogies here. And the back, it actually uses the coal tender from a Union Pacific Challenger steel locomotive. So that is quite interesting because I haven't done the Challenger yet. So I guess I just did the tender for it sort of, but then it is again uh, modified. So uh, again, this build is actually commissioned again by Zachary Plant. He actually commissioned quite a lot of builds. He even has uh, a couple more commissions on the way. So be forward to looking at that. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get started so we're going to build one half of the train at first because if we did both sides at the same time it will take twice as long and this is quite a long build as well so we're going to start off placing an l shape of stone like that and then on top of the middle we're going to add a stone brick stairs with a dark oak slab and that's going to be the coupling now right behind it we're going to add in um, stone we're going to make it 29 blocks long so one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, and twenty-nine. All right. So once we do that, we extend the side so it's two blocks wide, all the way across, like so. All right. So once we do that, we're to go to this side. And we're going to add in a stone stairs upside down. So go diagonally out, add it, and we're going to add another stairs upside down facing the back, like so. Right behind that, we're going to add a stone uh, block with a stone slab right underneath it. All right, cool. And then in this corner, there's going to be this gray glass pane. So let's add that. And then the middle on top of the stairs, we're going to add a TNT block and lapis lazuli right next to it. Then above, we're going to add a yellow terracotta here and a beacon on top of that. All right, then we're on this side. Let's make a C shape of yellow concrete like so. And then we'll need to take out uh, this oak stairs. We're going to place two of them like that. And inside this hole, we want to add in this gray concrete block it's going to be the number plate and in reality it sticks out but we can't really do that it'll also look like this or something all right then let's add yellow terracotta or yellow concrete here and behind this area let's add in three red concretes so one two three and this is going to say 80 80. Uh, originally it said up 80 but they changed it to 80 80 to not confuse it with the DD35. Then we're going to add a yellow border around it, like so. And in the back, we're going to add it one on top, like that. Then we're going to add two in the middle here, and then we're going to add four more, like a column, like that. And then uh, on top of here, we're going to add in yellow uh, concrete in the middle of that, uh, red make it go all the way to the middle and fill in the hood area like so then in the middle of that we're going to add yellow concrete like so so i made the inside part of it uh, blacked out so there's a lot more contrast so let's work on the inside we're going to add in this black concrete uh, let's make a little l shape like that and go cover it up like so now the outer edge we're going to add a black stained glass block here Another one in the front, and then two black glass panes on the side. Then we're going to take yellow glass pane, we're going to add one here, and we're going to add a row right here, or a column of four, like that on either side of that door. We're going to add oak slab right here, 
and we're gonna make it so it's six blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then the next row, we're gonna add uh, four blocks like that. And the next row, we wanna add one here and then go and add uh, a little dip right there, uh, two blocks long and then a slab goes up again. Inside the dip, there's actually the horn. So let's add in two oak fence gates like so. Now on the front of the hood, there is this light gray carpet. So let's just cover up that area all the way across like so. And then we're gonna add in these two yellow carpets right on top of the front of the cab. So in the front, there's gonna be uh, this acacia sign on the right hand side of the beacon, as well as these two dark oak wooden buttons like that. We're also gonna add in a acacia button right underneath uh, the stairs. And then we'll add in these two iron bars like that. All right, so once we're done with that, we're gonna add in this bedrock. So if you don't have bedrock because you're building in survival, you just use a substitute block. So we're gonna add in five here. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, then we're gonna add in a column of yellow concrete, four blocks tall. Then we're gonna add two in the middle here, and then another column right here. Then we're gonna add inside, there's gonna be the black stained glass block with black concrete behind it. Then we're gonna add bedrock again and we're gonna go all the way until it's just one block away from the edge. So let's extend that up. One block before the edge, like so. Then we're gonna add a column of yellow concrete here, four blocks all again. And then we're gonna fill in the bottom two rows of yellow concrete all the way across, because that is just plain yellow. The top part's gonna be uh, the red. So we're gonna skip up that hole right there and just continue on right over here. So you see like the two doorways here, we need to add in this oak stairs. And uh, the one in the front, it's gonna be right side up. The one in the back, it's gonna be upside down. All right, then we're gonna add yellow glass panes um, in these columns along the doorway here, as well as a single glass pane right here in the back. Right, so in the back portion, we're going to add a 2x4 of stone here. So let's add that. And then in the back, there's going to be stone brick uh, stairs in the middle. And then two stone brick slabs on the left-hand side of that. Uh, then in front, there's going to be these three stone stairs. So let's add that. One, two, three as well as the stone and then stone slab. So let's add a two by three of stone, two by three of stone slabs on top. So that's the little bump. And then in front of that, there's gonna be a two by three of stone brick slabs, like so. And then we're gonna make an L shape of stone brick slabs right there. Then we're gonna take cobblestone slab. We're gonna make a plus sign or like half of a plus sign. So it's like a T. And let's add two more stone brick slabs here. And then there's like these two air reservoir tanks, I'm guessing. That's gonna be four blocks long of stone here. Then we're gonna place a dark, or not a dark, it's a spruce fence gate. And then we're gonna add in three stone blocks. On the side, we're gonna add stone brick slabs all the way across to where the oak uh, slabs is and then right over here we're going to add a single cobblestone slab in the middle and then for the rest of the roof there's going to be stone brick slabs all the way across just fill all that in as well as that little hole underneath uh, that fence gate so it should look like this now we're going to add in uh, the red lettering so it's going to say Union Pacific so Go right over here, add every other block, red concrete, three blocks here. Go right over here, uh, let's add in two more yellow concretes, and then four red concrete spaced apart like that, and then fill in the rest with yellow. 
like so, and as well as the one in the front. So we got that so far, very nice. And now we can add in oak buttons. Uh, one of them is right here. Another one underneath the windows for the doors. All right, so now let's work on the bottom. So let's go down there. Go right after the stone and let's add in the cyan terracotta. And that's gonna be our wheel. Then we're gonna skip a block and add a single deer right wall here. Skip a block and add cyan wheel again. And do the same thing here, wall and then another cyan so that there's three wheels. Add hoppers to the sides of all the wheels. All right, so next we're gonna take court stairs and make them upside down like that. So just place them upside down, face towards each of the hoppers. Do this for all of them. In the middle, we're gonna add quartz slab here, like so. So for the top section, we're gonna add a quartz slab above the hopper here, skip a block and add two, and add, skip a block and add another two, skip one, add one here. Then we're gonna add a snow layer and we're gonna have that between these slabs and we wanna make sure it's like one layer above the other slab. Same thing in the front here. In the middle, we're going to add in a stone brick stairs, like so. We're going to add a stone brick stairs also underneath this stairs, upside down. And then we're going to add two polished andesites on either side of this stairs. And then down below, we're going to add a row of polished andesite cross right there. Then we'll add upside down stone brick stairs, a row cross, and some upside down ones at the top tips, like that. Now on the inside part of here, let's extend it up a little bit towards the middle. And in between each of these wheels, we need to add in this dark oak fence gate. So that's gonna be our axle, so let's add that. All right, so once we do that, the layers in between, we're gonna cover that up with um, stone, or this is called like smooth stone slab now. So let's add that all the way across, like that. All right, so this is what the bogey looks like pretty much, and we need to add in another bogey to the back, so I guess we'll have to just go through that again. So go right over here, skip block here, add a wheel, uh, skip block, add a wall, skip one, add a wheel, and just pretty much the same thing that we did in the front, so we have these three wheels. And then we're gonna add hoppers to the sides of all the wheels. Then we're going to add those quartz uh, stairs upside down facing towards each of the hoppers with a quartz slab in the, the middle. And same thing over here. Then on top, we're going to add in that quartz slab, scuff one. And then this time, it's going to be five quartz slabs here. And then skip one quartz slab. Then take snow layer and add it so it just goes barely above that other quartz. Like that. Inside part, we're going to add in the axles once again using dark oak fence gates to each of the wheels and then stone or just smooth stone slab for the rest. So it's kind of like a U-shape inside there and yeah, that is pretty much it for that bogey. Now we're going to work on the back. Uh, let's add in upside down stomach stairs here with a stone brick slab underneath it. And then we'll take stone brick slab and let's add in uh, two blocks inside there. Same thing in the front, like that. All right, then we're gonna go to the back. Let's add a stone bun right here. Then we're gonna add in the gangway. So that's gonna be three blocks tall of nether brick wall like that. Then two nether brick slabs on top and another brick slab right here in the bottom with a dark oak slab underneath and that's gonna be the coupling. Then we're going to add in two more stone brick slabs here, like that. And now I think we're pretty much done with this, so now it's, we're going to work on the middle part. So to do that, we're going to take out um, stone, and we're going to make it two blocks wide like this, just on this side, and we're going to make it so it's 47 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 4, 
Divide away 6 and 7 into 8, 29, 33, 1, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. All right, and then we're going to do the other side. Just go across, same thing. It is extremely long. It's like ridiculously long, um, this part. Uh, but it does have a lot of bogeys to make up for it. So uh, the thing about this one, it actually has like a plow in the front. So under here, in the middle, we're going to try to place a stone brick stairs right there. And then add another one next to it. And then we're going to add an upside down one on the side, right side up on this side, and then upside down behind it. And we're going to do the same thing in the back. So just in case you haven't followed that, uh, this is pretty much what I did right here. Upside down here, right side up like that, and then upside down behind that one. Then we're going to add the coupling, which is a dark oak slab here. And on the side, diagonally down, we're going to add dark oak fence gate, open that up. Go to the back and add in the fence gate as well. Down over here. And we want to make sure it's facing the right direction. All right, so let's make the bogey. Let's move down here. Let's add a Saiyan terracotta here. Skip a block and add two deer right walls. Skip a block, add Saiyan terracotta again. And add hoppers to the sides of the wheels like so. Then um, in here, I'm going to add that upside down court stairs facing towards the hopper, like so. And then we'll need a court slab, two blocks on the bottom. And on top, we're going to add it all the way across, like that. Then we're going to punch a hole here and add in this stone brick stairs, like that. Let's go on the inside part now. And we're going to add dark oak fence gates for axles for the wheels. And then we'll take smooth stone slab and add a U shape around that wall. And that is pretty much it for that bogey. Then we're going to move on to the other side and pretty much copy the same thing, but it's kind of going the other direction. So add a wheel here, skip a block, and add two deer right walls. Skip a block, add another wheel. And then we'll need the hoppers. Uh, I keep on getting rid of uh, these blocks, so I have to grab it again. Hoppers, sides of the wheel, court stairs facing uh, towards the hopper, court slab on the bottom, and then court slab all the way across on top. And then we'll replace the slab here with uh, stone brick stairs, like that. Inside part, dark oak fence gates, sides of the wheels and a U-shape around with that smooth stone uh, slab around that wall. All right, that's it for um, that bogey. Now the bigger bogeys, they're right over here. They're slightly different in design. So let's work on that. So we're gonna skip three blocks away from this. So one, two, three, add a wheel here, skip two, add another one, skip two, add another one, skip two, and add another one here. Hopper sides of all the wheels. And then we're going to add quartz stairs facing each other in between each of these hoppers. Like that. So there is uh, four wheels here. Then we're going to go to the outer hopper and we're going to add a birch fence gate. And make it face towards the hopper on either side. Then we're going to add a quartz slab uh, diagonally away from that fence gate, both sides. Then we're going to add a quartz slab diagonally away from this fence gate and make it go all the way across to that other fence gate. And once we reach that fence gate, we're going to go a slab down, add a quartz slab there, do your right wall on top, and then a birch fence gate here, open it up, and it's actually like a little ladder. Now the inside part of this, we need to take out our uh, dark oak fence gates, place that inside for the axles between each of the wheels. And then we'll add smooth stone slabs in between. I'm not sure if this actually even is necessary though, because you can't really see the underside of this, but we'll do it anyways. And then the inside part of this, we're going to add in two quartz slabs. 
uh, between that fence gate. And I suppose we could do the same thing for the other fence gate like that. All right, so I think that's it for um, this gigantic bogey. Now we're gonna do the same thing, just flip it off to the other side. So let's go here. Um, we're gonna skip a block and just add a quartz slab here. Get a right wall on top. And then we're gonna add quartz slab all the way across till it's one block apart, like a block of space in between that and the other uh, slab that we replaced here. Then we're going to go back down here. We're going to add two quartz slabs inside here. And uh, let's add in the wheels. So let's add, say, Antarcata here. Skip up two blocks, add another one, skip two, add another one, skip two, and add another one here. Then the inside part, two quartz slabs here. And then we'll add hoppers to the sides of each of the wheels. And then facing each other, quartz stairs in between the hoppers. All right, and then the inside part, we're gonna add dark oak uh, slabs, or not slabs, what am I saying? Fence gates in between the wheels. Make sure they're facing the right direction. Uh, stone slabs, or just smooth stone slabs in between. Kind of like a two by two, like that. And then we'll need the birch fence gate. And it's gonna face towards that hopper on the ends like so and then we don't need this extra fence gate on this one it's just on that one so next we're to go to the front we're going to add yellow concrete here add in oak stairs and make it three blocks tall like that and we're going to replace the middle one and we want to make it upside down and does this detail really matter i'm not sure uh because they're all connected and sort of hidden but separately they are so let's add yellow concrete uh, column right next to it. And then on the side here, we're gonna add yellow concrete, extend by one. Then we're gonna go on the outer edge, add yellow concrete, and that goes all the way into the space between the slabs. So add that, like so. Now right over here, uh, let's make a two by five on top, yellow concrete. And then we'll add like a three, sort of like a three by two bedrock here. And then we'll go in a block and add that bedrock again right there. Then in front, we're gonna add in these three oak uh, stairs to get a face towards the front like that. And then right over here, we're gonna add two yellows and then skip one, two yellows again. And this is yet another uh, doorway, so inside there's going to be um, oak slab here, and then black concrete inside like that. Then the columns or the railings for the door are going to be yellow glass paint, so let's add that. Both sides of the door. Alright, cool. And then uh, what we're going to do, we're going to add bedrock. Add it to the bottom row. And we're going to make this go all the way to the third wheel in this bogey. So let's extend that out to the third one, like so. And then we're going to take yellow again and add it so it goes all the way to that uh, wall right there. All right, and then we're going to make an L shape on top here. And then we'll add in an oak stairs right here, two of them. One's going to face towards the front, and then the bottom here faces towards the back. And another one on top of that one faces towards the back as well. So it's like a V shape here. And the inside part, we're gonna add uh, L shape, upside down L shape of bedrock like that. Other side's gonna be black concrete. So let's add that. And then on top, let's add in bedrock. So on top of here, all the way across. So let's add that. All the way across. And then the row on the bottom, let's add yellow all the way across. And the row on top, there's gonna to be this uh, red concrete. So let's add three of them spaced apart. Then we're gonna fill in the spaces in between yellow and then two here. And then three more red concretes there. And then fill in the space in between. All right, now we're gonna move on to this part. 
I made it 3D so you have like more detail. So we're gonna add sort of like this W shape. So we're gonna add yellow concrete here. Dally down two, dally down one. And then it goes up again. And this is like a V shape. Then we want to extend it so it's like a W. Like that. And then we're gonna make it go um down again and then up by two blocks like that. So we should have like a W and like a small V shape. Then we're gonna add two red concretes here. Then we're gonna add uh, four yellow concretes. So one, two, three, four. Then we're gonna make a four by four. So it's like a square shape. Like so, and then we can fill in the space inside like that. All right, so for this thing, uh, we're gonna take bedrock, add it right above the red, make it four blocks long like that. And then we're gonna go on the inside part of this um, W, I guess. I'm gonna add bedrock all the way across so it fills in like the inner layer, all these holes, just fill that in with bedrock. It's got that nice detail as well as this part here. Yeah, that is bedrock as well. So we're gonna go across, then the last row here, fill that in. So we got the nice 3D effect. Then we're gonna take an oak fence and we're gonna add a column here and here and a third one here and then a fourth one in between here. So we got that. Now the row on top, we could fill in the rest with uh, this oak trap door cross like this. And the row below it, we're gonna add oak trap doors again like that. And the row below that, we're gonna add oak trap doors again. And the row below that, that is acacia trap doors. A little red, like that. All right, then we're gonna go to the end. Uh, let's add in yellow concrete here. And then two oak stairs like that, right side up. And then oak stairs upside down on top of that. Like so. Then next to it, we're gonna add a column of yellow four blocks tall and then we need to make like this three by three sort of like on a diagonal of bedrock so let's add that all right and the bottom we could fill that in yellow concrete like so then we're going to take out yellow glass pane let's add one in the bottom corner here as well as this doorway here i'm going to add that just two columns like that and there's no window for this door, so we're gonna add an oak button in the middle, like so. And then one on the bottom here, and then one on top of this bedrock. Then we're gonna go to the front where these letters are. We're gonna add in one here. Skip one and add two. And add one between these two reds. And add one underneath the slab here, and then one down here. So then we're gonna go to these uh, bedrock vents. We're gonna add in two glass panes right here in the corner and then yellow glass pane underneath. Go to the other side and add in two more, or actually three more of this uh, gray glass panes right there in that corner. Next we're gonna go to the back here. Let's add in four stone brick slabs here. And then stone brick stairs facing the back. Then a stonework slab, stonework stairs again. Then a stonework slab, and then stonework stairs. I want to go to the other side and add in four stonework slabs here on the outer edge. And then we're gonna take stonework stairs, and then we're gonna add that all the way to the third red uh, marking, I guess, like that. Once we get up to here, we're gonna add in four cobblestone stairs. Inside part, we're going to add in four cobblestone slabs like that. And then we're going to add stone brick stairs all the way across to the other side. All right, so once we're done with that, it should look like this. And then we're going to take out a uh, light gray wool. We're going to add that in between this little part. So I guess um, like this so far, it's like three blocks on top. 
So next we're to go to the edge. We're going to add 10 polish into sight. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 like that. Then on top we're going to add two stonework slabs here. Then stonework stairs facing the back. Stonework slabs for the rest. Then we're going to take stone brick stairs and add it to the side of that polish and say all the way across, like so. And then we're going to delete this block here. Apparently that should be a stone brick wall. We're going to make an L shape around here, like that. Ideally, these two wouldn't connect, uh, but I guess it's vanilla, so they are going to connect. And then we're going to add in this skeleton skull. It's going to face inwards, um, right on the inside part, just before that. Uh, wall right there so add that there also is going to be a spruce fence gauge right here in the middle and open that up towards the slab now in the row uh, behind it is going to be a stone brick stairs here polish and site next to it let's make an L shape like that all right so once we're done with that we're going to go to the other side add a uh, polish and site right here at the very edge and we'll extend that all the way across do, 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 all the way. Like so. Then we're going to go on the other side, do the same thing, just fill it in all the way across. And I accidentally deleted that, so let's place that black pack. Okay, and then after the cobblestone, just fill it in as usual. Like so. Right, so once we fill that in, actually this part has to be stone brick stairs, so let me delete that. Add in the stone brick stairs all the way and should line up with that glass pane right there. Now at this point, we're going to add stone brick slabs inside the middle area all the way across from that point. And then we're going to skip uh, three blocks and we're going to add in this stone button. Skip two blocks and add a 2x2 two two of spruce trap doors. Then after this um, cobblestone, we're going to add uh, an L shape of stone brick slabs. And we're going to extend this uh, part over here to where the bedrock ends. In the inside part, we're going to extend that all the way to the middle, as well as two cobblestone slabs inside and then stone brick slab here. And then we're going to add in this spruce trap door, two blocks long here. Skip a block and add one, or actually skip two and add one. Then we're going to add stonework slabs in the middle, extend that all the way. So it's two block past that trap door. And I'm going to add another trap door, spruce trap door inside here. All right, then we're going to go to the back and add an oak fence gate right here. Face it towards uh, the back. And uh, I believe that is it for now uh the middle and now it's work on the actual coal tender so we're gonna take out a uh, stone brick gonna add that right behind this coupling and add stone brick slab right here then stone brick stairs and a stone brick slab underneath then i'm gonna add two blocks wide of stone we're gonna make this section 22 blocks long so one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, twenty-two. Extend the rest all the way across. Go to the back and add stone brick block in the middle, stone brick slab, stone brick stairs with a slab underneath. And at the very tip, there's going to be the coupling, which is a dark oak uh, slab like that. All right, then what we're going to do, let's add in the bogey. So for this one, again, it is different. So we're going to skip a block here, add cyan terracotta, and then we're going to add stone brick stairs upside down behind it, quartz slab, stone brick stairs facing the front, cyan terracotta again. And then we'll add hoppers to the sides of the wheels. And then we'll add in a uh, quartz slab, let's make up the W shape that then we're going to take out snow layer and I'm going to add that right before the top so it doesn't match so it does like a little uh, dip and now in the middle there's going to be a birch fence gate I'm going to open that up 
Then inside there's going to be a dark oak fence gate like that. And let's add in three stone, smooth stone slabs inside. So it looks like that. That's it for that bogey. Now there's going to be another bogey. Um, so what we're going to do is skip two blocks, add a wheel, skip two, add a wheel. And then we want to make sure that they're spaced apart, two blocks in between, so that there's going to be five wheels. So one, two, three, four, five. Add hoppers to the sides of all the wheels. And then quartz stairs in between everything. So one's going to be facing outwards towards the front. And then the rest are going to face the hoppers. So let's do that. All right, and the one in the back will just leave that alone like that. Then I'm going to add a layer of quartz slabs above everything. And then we'll add in dark oak fence gates in between uh, the wheels. So let's add that like so for each of them. Make sure you're doing it right. Then in between, we're going to add in this uh, smooth stone slab. So that's going to be like a two by two between everything. And this part here, we're going to leave that alone. All right, so now what we're going to do, we're going to take yellow concrete, go right to this edge here, make two blocks, actually four blocks tall like that. And we're going to extend this part all the way back to the back section. It's going to line up. Uh, like this and make it go all the way down again So you have that shape Then we're to skip this layer here and add another yellow concrete layer all the way across Like so Then we're to take out a ladder Let's add a ladder right here in the front and also one in the back all right, so let's work on these little tiny windows. So there's gonna be four of them. They're gonna be basically oak stairs. I'm trying to place that right. It's quite hard to place. So I'm just gonna place uh, one here, one here, and then there's gonna be four of them spaced apart. And inside there's gonna be black concrete. The middle, we're gonna fill that in with yellow concrete. Yeah, at this point, we'd add yellow here, and then three reds spaced apart. So one, two, three, and skip two and add four. So one, two, three, four. Fill in the spaces in between, and then we'll add in um, yellow underneath that first red, and make it go all the way across, like so. Then we're gonna take oak stairs, we're gonna add one here, skip one, add two, skip one, add two, skip one, add two, then skip one, add one. Then we'll add in stone brick wall in between each of the walls, or <laughs> in between each of the stairs, and then yellow be behind each of the walls. Like so, then we're gonna take out uh, yellow glass pane again and there's going to be a door here so let's add three blocks tall like that now we're going to take out a uh, hook button add one underneath that stairs and then we're going to add a row on top right over here it's like some vents then we're going to add a acacia button right down that corner cool all right then we're going to go to the front and let's add yellow in the middle and then upside down uh, oak stairs on the top of that yellow. Then red concrete on top of that. And then yellow on top. And then two blocks of this polish and a site. Now we're going to extend this all the way back to the back. So let's do that. All the way across. Like so. And then we're going to skip a block here and add one here and make it go all the way across so that there's like a little notch in the back. Then we're going to go back over here, fill all the rest in with yellow. Like that. Then we're going to add a kitchen button above that red concrete like that. 
Then we're going to go to the back and let's add in um, two more yellows on top. Red concrete here, yellow next to it, and then upside down uh, oak stairs here, and then right side up, right next to it in the middle. And then two yellow concretes right there. Then we're going to add yellow concrete behind that upside down stairs, acacia button above that red, and then a birch button above that one, and then oak buttons, three of them like this. So it's like a little column. All right, then we're going to go to this side, delete this block here, and we want to replace that with an upside down oak stairs like that. And let's add an oak trap door, close it up like so. Then we're going to go on top, let's add a stone brick slab here. Stone brick stairs facing towards the end site like that. And then we're going to add And then we're going to add a stonework slab here, then stonework stairs facing towards the polished andesite. And then on the side here, let's add stonework stairs face the back. And then we're going to skip two and add one. And keep on doing this till we reach the other side. So just keep on skipping these twos, add in those stairs. And at the other side, we're going to add stonework slab it here, and then add it in between each of these stairs. Then we're going to add a slab right here in this corner. Then we're going to take out a stone brick um, wall and we're going to add two blocks tall here and a stone brick stairs facing the front right at the bottom. And then we're going to take out uh, skulls. We're going to add it on top of each of these stairs on the sides. And then we're going to add in end rods so that they're all connected. And ideally, this would not be an entity, but this is like the best block that fits. So let's take an end rod and add in between. I'm really glad that they changed the end rod texture to like something that's not like purple color because that was like a really bad decision. Gray blends in with most colors, which is great. All right, so we got that railing done. Then we're to go uh, right over here to these two reds and go to the second red and we're going to add two stone brick slabs inside and then we're going to extend that all the way to the back so let's do that once we reach the back part we just add one at the tip so it's like this then in the front area there's going to be a spruce trap door we're going to skip two away from here add it like that all the way across to the front like that and actually it's like one block away from the front like so. Alright, so that is it for uh, half of the build. Now what we're going to do, we're going to flip it off to the other side, just do the same thing. And then we need to add in the asymmetrical parts. So once we do both sides, it should look like this. Now we're going to go to the front, remove this iron bar here. Then we're going to go to the second part, and we need to add in a ladder system. So there's going to be uh, oak fence gates, we're going to make that go all the way up open all these fence gates, punch in a hole here, place a dark oak fence gate here, and open it up. Then we're going to go right over here, let's add in two uh, stone brick stairs like that, just on this side. Then we're going to go to this door right over here, and replace this uh, yellow glass stain panes, and we're going to add in a row of, or a column of oak fence gates like that. And at the very top, we're going to delete this carpet. We don't need that anymore. All right, so apparently I placed this wrong, so that's why I wasn't working. These stairs are actually supposed to be facing towards the front, so replace that. Uh, these two stairs like that, make them face the front, as well as the stairs as well. Make it face the front. Now we're going to add in the same thing on the other side, so that needs to be fixed, so let's do that. So while here, just make them face towards the front, all these three stairs. All right, so that makes a lot more sense. And on this side, we're going to add in these two more um, light gray carpets on top like that. All right, and then the other side, we're going to add light gray carpet here and then one in the uh, back like that. So looks like a little entrance here. 
All right, sorry about that. <laughs> I need to get that fixed. And also the inside part of here, if you can, you could just fill this in with polish and it's like, I'm not gonna do that right now since it's not really essential. Uh, but then what we're gonna do, let's go to the last car here. And this car is also different, so let's go in the back. And we need to delete this block here and place an uh, oak stairs like that. And we're gonna go to the side here, just skip them here and add two yellow concretes here. Skip one, add another two. Skip one, add another two. All right, so actually this, <laughs> like so. Then we're gonna add oak buttons to the sides of each of these boxes like that. And replace the one in the back with an oak stairs upside down like that. Then we're gonna go right over here and add an additional oak button right there in between those two windows. All right, so next we're gonna go back to the lead car. Go right to the stairs and we're gonna add stone buttons on either side of that. Same thing on the other side. All right, so it's looking good, pretty good so far. So yeah, that is actually pretty much it on how to build a Union Pacific experimental coal turbine locomotive in Minecraft. And thanks again to Zachary Plant for making this video possible by commission this build. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button down below and subscribe if you had already because I'll be uploading more videos like this in the future. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.